Okay, hey, what's up, guys? Um, today I'm teaching you an intro using Sony Vegas, and this is probably one of the simplest intros I've ever made. Um, now, when you look at it, it's gonna for some of you it might look a little difficult, but trust me, it's a lot easier than you guys think. And just to let you guys know, I got a new mouse, so I can actually zoom in and stuff. I can use my scroll wheel because on my other one it was broken. So thank God for that. And um, I'm just going to be teaching you guys the basics. Like, I put a lot more effects in the one that you guys saw, but I'm going to give you guys, like, the basic rundown of what I did. So, let's get started. Okay, I hope you guys liked it. Um, I think it's pretty good. And I haven't been using Sony Vegas a lot. I'm sorry, because I've been kind of busy lately, and I've been using Cinema 4D a lot. But I'm going to do Sony Vegas now just because I think they're way cooler. Or they're more original than like Cinema 4D and stuff. So back to Sony Vegas. So uh, you're just going to want to open up Sony Vegas and insert some video tracks. Whoa, my bad, my bad, my bad. So just insert one for now and then go ahead and insert whatever text you guys want. Um, I just had Webster. And then you can do whatever uh, font you want. I do Lowrider. It's pretty thick. I think it's pretty thick text. And that's it for right there. Um, you may want to zoom in on your scroll, whatever this is called. Your zoom in a little bit so you can extend this to about... Actually, five seconds is good. So put it around five seconds. Oh, my God. And then what you want to do is you want to go to Video Effects tab. And you want to go to Cookie Cutter and select the little box. And just click and drag that over the text. And then this, like, you'll have a box that appears. And what you want to do is go to this repeat X right here. And set that until you get four boxes with lines going down the middle of it. And then go ahead and set the size all the way down so you can't see anything. And then take your little uh, tick marker, whatever this is called, and move it up pretty, pretty close to the end. Probably about to four seconds is good. And increase the size to where the lines disappear. So now you'll just have these two lines on top of the text. <clears throat> and if we watch that, you'll see what it does. So that's that effect. And then, you know, insert another video track and insert e a text. Um, the one I had was presents. So I'm just going to do that again. Alright, sorry guys, I had to do something there, but, so once you have your, uh, second text, go ahead and drag that underneath the, uh, first one, and now you want to go into the first text and click the little event pan and crop, and go ahead and move it right to where the lines stop moving, these lines right here, stop moving and go ahead and drag it to the left, drag your little box to the left so it disappears, like that. So, if we watch that little bit. Oh, my bad. I'm sorry, guys. Before you do that, make sure you move your little tick marker just in front of that before the movement. And make sure you restore it so it will move only at a sp specific time. So, now let's watch it. And it's still, still... Oh, my God. That's that's amazing. I, I just jizzed a little bit. I know it sounds kind of weird. Next, you want to take the presents and you want to put it right underneath the Webster part. I write or put it, try to get it right where the uh, Webster disappears. So right about there, that's kind of lucky. And then you want to go to Event Pen and Crop, and you want to go ahead and move it out of the frame. And you want to take your little frame thing and move it to the left. I think. Yeah. Sorry, guys. I'm dyslexic. Sorry. And then take your little marker thing and keep going up. Hang on a minute, guys. What's up with this, man? What is up with this? All right, right there. It starts moving. All right. So I was a little off. My bad. My bad. My bad. All right. So now, if we watch this, you're going to... It's just going to be, like, off the screen and stuff. Move this to about one second and go ahead and restore it. So 
So now if we watch that. Oh my god. Oh, I'm sorry. Make sure you extend the uh, first text all the way out to match the second text. So those lines will never go away. So now what we've created is that. Oh my god. And that is pretty much the intro. That's what I did. Um, all the rest of the stuff was like a background that I just found by Googling it. I just went to, uh, let's see here. I just went to Google and I searched like cool intro backgrounds. Uh, and make sure you select images, sorry. And I just selected this one. So I didn't do much right there. So, add that, and then I added, like, light effects and stuff, but I don't I don't feel like you guys should just copy my intro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I feel like you don't deserve it. No, I'm just kidding. But, really, I just don't feel like teaching you guys all that because, I don't know, I just, I just realized that I was teaching you guys intros before, and people would just copy them, and no one gave me credit, so... That's just the basic rundown of it. One more look at it. And that's what it looks like. So, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully you guys subscribe. And don't be a douche and be like, you didn't teach me how to finish it. You bitch. Don't be like that. Subscribe, because I will put a template in the download if you want to make the exact one that I had. That's just if you like don't trust me and you, do, you think like, oh my god, he put viruses in it. This is for those people who think that. So if you guys want to just copy me and not be original, go ahead and down the, download the uh, template. But if you guys want to be original and be awesome, you can do this and just make it more of your own. So I just went on for like an extra two minutes. So I'm sorry, but thanks for watching and subscribe.